Welcome to my news on point, your pulse on trending news. Stay connected by subscribing to our channel. There were 14 other protesters, including minors, who are locked up in Abuja today. You know, all of these people have done nothing. That is what we have come to say here today. We are saying that we will not rest until they are all free. Yes, as we were here, we heard about uh, uh, the fact that the bill has been granted at uh, Tamri Eleni and nine others. We are happy with that bill, uh, but then that does not mean that uh, you know, we have come to the end of the road when it comes to that. Uh, because you know, the charges of prison are going to hide and on their heads, despite the bill. So we are demanding that those charges are false and they must be caught. And all protesters, all journalists who have been around, must be caught. It means really is that uh, Nigeria has come full circle uh, from a country that fought for democracy so much during the night. Uh, then we then had what was called democracy in 1999, a civilian. They have come full circle to a country that has now returned back, more or less, uh, to military dictatorship. The only thing is that those who are accessing this dictatorship are in civilian gaps. But then the impact of their policies, uh, the way they hound journalists, the way they attack the democratic right, is actually as, as the same as uh, when it was under the military. You can't even speak up, you can't say the truth. Everybody who decides to say the truth in this country, you know, becomes an endangered or an endangered person. Not even the president of the largest trade union center in West Africa, the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, is saved you know, from this uh, constant harassment, you know, and arrest by the police and the DSS. This is not good. This is a nominal sign that shows that Nigeria has regressed, you know, from a, you know, a nominally democratic country to one that is now back to a full blown dictatorship. It's, it's very terrible. And it was what happened on that day. That was even the first day of the protest. It was an unprovoked attack uh, by the uh, RRST of the Nigerian police. Uh, we had just finished the protest at the uh, on that day, and everybody was just walking home. Uh, this individual, Damilola Akinola, was also walking home with a group of protesters along the uh, which is just a, a few distance away from Ojota Uh The RRST, you know, the police van. Uh, Accosted them uh, and they ran after some of them. They arrested three of them at that spot. Dam Lola Tola was so unfortunate as he was running. Uh, a policeman, you know, cornered him and used a, a, a button you know, to smash his head at the back. The force of the blow uh, was so much that the button itself broke into pieces and his head was split open. Uh, he almost fainted from so much loss of blood and had to be run to a nearby hospital uh, where the head was stitched and that was what actually saved his life. And since that day, it's been uh, more than a month now, the police have not done anything uh, regarding investigating the police officers who took part in that unprovoked attack and neither have they done anything even try and provide you know any restitution to this person who you know as in, who was who was so violent here and that's why we think that despite the uh usual story that uh, the police in Lagos State is honorable and civil we think that uh, the police in Lagos State see as a question to answer because when you have such cases of good attack and then there was not there's not even an, an attempt to find it it does show that even here in Lagos we face a very thing is what has happened today now is to show that protest works and that when we fight we can move and that's why just as we we're doing this you know we had the news that uh, our, co our comrades in Africa I don't know my calendar and others were granted me. This has to then fire us up to now fight me. Uh, obviously, since uh, August 10, when we ended the protest last month, the condition of Nigeria has even gone from bad to worse with the uh, new fuel price hike. So, Nigerian people, the youth now, will have to go back to the street, you know, to continue to fight on all of those things. That is what I think I've learned, you know, from today's action. Thank you. Uh, my name is Mary George Bolola. I'm representing the movement of uh, feminist movement in Nigeria. 
uh, we're here today with uh, other CSOs and uh, pressure group across uh, Lagos State to come and uh, submit a petition on behalf of the protesters that were arrested in the August 1 to 10, uh, 2024 by the federal government. And um, of course, because of the mandate of National Human Rights Commission, uh, as, it, as, it, as it is now, uh, we've realized that there are a lot of gross uh, human rights violations has been committed by the government. And because one, those people that were arrested, there were young people that were trying to say that there's hunger in the land, that are when they, they were trying to demand for the good governance in, in, in our country all for them to to go into their home they were arrested around 2 a.m on the day of the arrest and since that arrest they were denied the that access to, to their lawyer to their family i mean access to bail they were they were de uh, they were denied and also uh we are here today on behalf of mothers in nigeria on behalf of the concerned mothers because we know that an injustice to one is an injustice to all we are saying that a uh, national human rights commission should take up that challenge and be able to rise to that occasion to investigate what has happened why are they charging them for treason what have they done to warrant that kind of uh, treason charge against all these people that have been arrested they were simply uh, exercising their democratic right with everybody i mean we agree with me that it's a fundamental human right as a citizen of this country i mean to come out and uh, and say no to a government that has decided to rule you know on a selfish uh ground that has decided to rule on anti-people policies that has decided to rule on various um attack on policies and program uh, against the poor people we're just trying to uh, encourage national human rights commission today on their mandate to please and please rise to this occasion of nigerian people to please and please rise to this occasion of nigerian masses to please and please rise to this occasion of the nigerian youth and be able to investigate and be able to compel the, na the national government of nigeria to do the needful to do the right thing and release these people uncondition unconditionally and exports were expecting that our petition today as has been submitted in lagos state national human rights commission office will be taken uh to the national human rights uh, office in abuja and be able to advocate for nigeria masses and we're saying let the poor breathe so on this basis i would say that we have come to the official end of today's action i want to thank the media now, if the media would like to have uh, any informal interaction uh, with any of you at the national Marine commission uh, we hope to hear from you uh, very very soon on all of these matters but like we said we do not leave anybody behind in our struggle so everybody who has been arrested unjustly we hope that the commission will thank you so much for watching kindly let us know what you think in the comment section thank